So I think that the thought of building community is that's what we're trying to do here, right? That's why we wanted to get together the brightest minds in Columbus and some from Dayton and some from Cincinnati to get us all together so that we could mingle, talk, meet new people and learn from somebody who's on this, this path towards mastery of, of his topic. Well, uh, welcome to a live edition of the Learning Leader Show. I'm excited to be here. This, this, this is what I love to do more than anything else. I couldn't be more excited. Let's bring up, please, big round of applause for James Clear. He believed in this concept of the aggregation of marginal gains. And the way that he described it was the 1% improvement in nearly everything that you do. And Brailsford said, if we can actually execute on this, right? If we can make all these little 1% changes related to cycling, then I think we can uh, win a Tour de France. And I think we can do it within five years. He ended up being wrong. They won Tour de France in two years. And then they repeated again the fourth year. And then after one year off, they've won two more. So they've won four of the last five now. And this idea that Tiny 1% changes are not just like a little bit a nice thing to have, but actually can make the difference between being mediocre and being the best in the world, uh, I think is a really powerful concept. I love the story and, I, I, and I, I've used it. And I think what most people think is, that's a cool story. Now, how do I apply that to my life? Because you can't necessarily lead anyone else until you can lead yourself. How do we implement and execute on this aggregation of marginal gains when it comes to ourselves? Everybody settles into routines, and if you don't stay vigilant, then those 1% gains stop accruing and you start to flatline at a certain level of performance. The way to implement it in your own life is to build a system so that you're continually reviewing what's going on and staying vigilant about whether or not you're making an improvement each day. Setting a goal is easy. Anybody can set a goal. Um, and in fact, this is an interesting thing, that winners and losers have the same goals. Every team that rides in the Tour de France wants to win the Tour de France. It wasn't the goal that changed for the British cycling team, it was the system that they had. And so, once you embrace this philosophy of systems over goals, it shifts the focus a little bit. It shifts the focus from what outcome can we get to what identity can we build. Everybody, please give a huge ovation for James Clear. I really think the, the 1% topic that they were talking about was really key for me. It's just making those incremental changes every day will continue to grow you throughout the year. So it's not like you've got to take this big chunk and get it all back at once. Just do those 1% every day, and at the end of the year, you're going to see a, a massive amount of gains in your personal life or in your professional life. It was a very well-run event, uh, incredibly smooth, venue was very nice. It was also really nice to have the audience there and to have them uh, provide some live feedback. Ryan does a fantastic job of preparing for each interview. I think that's the thing I appreciate most about him is I know that when I'm gonna be interviewed by Ryan, I'm gonna be coming into a situation that's well organized, that's clearly thought out, that has a good arc from the beginning to the end of the conversation. We're definitely gonna cover things that are useful, that are practical. I would encourage people to listen to that episode, think about uh, how they can apply that to their own lives. From a speaker standpoint, it's, uh, it's a great interview and um, really enjoyable.